Hi YouTube, Corey Marco with Corey Marco's Garage. Today I'm in my truck. We're gonna pick up a uh, project car for this uh, challenge called the uh, Great Beater Challenge. Great Beater Challenge. So you can look that up online, and it's held in uh, Alberta, Canada. And um, basically, uh, you buy a car that's around seven hundred dollars or less. And your budget is basically $700. So if you can buy a $700 car and it does the 1,300 kilometer or so challenge, it's like a poker run sort of thing. Anyway, so today I'm picking up a car for that, uh, for the channel. Now that's not going to happen until August of uh, 2020. But um, I'm going to pick up the car now. I don't need <laughs> another project at home. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just it was a good deal and it's a cool car and it's a 51 Hudson uh, Four-door sedan and uh, We'll pick it up and see what we got and uh, the owner of the car currently is Giving me this car. It was an add-on Kijiji That said free and then it kind of had sort of offers in the description well, I was a little chicken to call the guy. Volks probably gave him a call and was like, is this car really free? And he goes, well, it depends what you're using it for. So anyway, we explained what we want to use it for and he's on board to give it to us. So that may uh, affect in the rules a little bit um, because they kind of have, if you get a free vehicle, they might put a value on it and if they feel it's worth more than $700. Anyway, we're gonna go and have some fun. And the whole build's gonna be fun. I'm gonna, uh, the whole build will be on YouTube here. And I have to, um, also the challenge will be on YouTube. Uh, if you check out, there's another uh, gentleman in the Edmonton area that did it, and he's got a YouTube channel as well. If you wanna check out what he did, he took a 55 Chevy, and uh, I know him from the 567 Club, and he uh, took a field car, and in the course of, I would say, I don't know. I mean, he, he had the car, I think, for about four or five months. But then he really worked hard on it for like a good two, three week stretch there to get it going and uh, do the challenge. So he did uh, he did a good job there. And uh, I don't know, I think he placed like 25th or something like that. It was pretty cool. So anyway, that's uh, Parkland Films, if you want to check that out on YouTube. Well, we're about 15 minutes away uh, from the guy's place here, and we're gonna see what these cars are like. So first, I'm picking up the parts car, and it doesn't have a front suspension apparently. So we're just—I brought a uh, an axle along from a '57 Chevy pickup truck. It's a uh, straight axle that we're gonna just shove underneath uh, to get the car rolled out of this trailer. The trailer I have is. Uh, like a U-Haul unit, it has uh, just the two places to put the wheels and roll the trailer on. It's not a flat deck or anything, so. And it'll probably back the car on. There's no engine in it, so it's uh, tongue heavy. And um, also the rear axle's bolted to the car, so when you strap down those tires, and it just all kind of makes sense, so. And we'll see what it's like. Yeah, there's no nothing. dowels or nothing? Nothing. It's just all flat. Perfect. Your truck will come down. Just like that, yeah. We'll set the train there and we'll slide over. I'll you get to the hand. hand. Yep. Okay, ready? One, yeah. two, three. Oh! <laughs> okay. Hey, that was best, right? Alright, we pick it up. Oh yeah, we can just do that, get up there and do that for sure. All well, the straps are good. Oh, it's not getting new trucks. Because <laughs> this Ford that I'm driving is too nice to use to haul stuff around, but you know, that's my opinion. 
and uh, but I put a hitch on it now so it's uh, it's useful actually uh, off to Edson to get this so uh, that's the same place I picked up my 56 Pontiac from this is about two hours uh, west of the city so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a drive there's two vehicles involved in this deal one is uh, parts car and then one is the car that I'll be picking up which you'll see in a picture here and uh, that car there looks to be fairly decent but we'll know when we pick it up okay so here it is uh, I got it in the backyard the uh, 51 Hudson Hornet it's nice it's fairly complete it's been taken apart um, Here's a picture of what the car looked like before it was taken apart. The parts car, I had to take it apart and uh, here's what's left of that. This is the car for the challenge. We're going to do it. It's uh, supposed to be $700 into the car to get it running. It's fairly complete. Uh, the engine has to be put back together, which i got to find out what a gasket set's worth. Um, and then, of course, uh, it's got the four-speed automatic. Uh, and the um, all of it's there so just the chrome and everything has to be bolted back on the brakes all have to be done all the way around so master cylinder lines uh, uh, wheel cylinders all the rubber components to it and uh, shoes I could probably use the drums between the parts car and this one I should be okay with that and uh, we pack the wheel bearings so it shouldn't cost me too much on that front. The brakes uh, are not included on the total price of the build because it's a safety. I need to put some glass. I don't have windshields in the car, which is why there's a tarp here. Um, the glass, I have to look around and find some glass too. The, uh, the interior is not bad. I'll uh, bring the camera around and I'll show you the Love box. So it's missing the radio, but it's got the steering wheel and all the gauges, the seats here. The floor doesn't have any carpet, which is good. It saved it from from rusting. Somebody pulled it out a while ago. What's nice? There's no rust in this floor at all. It's just surface rust, but nothing, no soft spots or anything. This car is unibody, which is why it sinks down in here. It's uh, low slung, and so this is actually basically the chassis of the vehicle. On the parts car that was all rotted out but this is all nice and solid uh, that lower paddle goes on and covers that up which i have got all the parts in the back here some uh, drums and hubs backing plate uh, some trim and there's some pistons and all the pieces for the car here there's an extra transmission for our manual out of the parts car uh, there's the head gasket, but I'm gonna have to get a new one Some other gaskets and other pieces in the window rubber. So Anyway, also the uh, All the side glass in this uh, car Is damaged uh, like in the in the windows and stuff. This one's broken. This one's completely broken and missing uh, So I have those out of the uh, parts car. There's all four uh, windows there the um, front valence is there. This is a grill out of the parts car. I have the other one. All this front uh, paddling, as well as uh, the wheels here. So they've just been detired. I'll just pick the best five and uh, just throw some paint on it. Look nice. I'll show you the engine actually inside. Okay, so here's the uh, 308 engine here. This is a big Hudson 6. Uh, everything's all looped up, cranks decent. Uh, all the bearings are, are decent in the in the crank. Um, I do have to pull them off and just check, but uh, this only has four main bearings in the six cylinder. So um, cam seems okay. All the bearings seem okay. So the idea of just putting this together with just a gasket set, clean everything up, and uh, it has this one, I guess. Uh, would have had an aluminum head maybe and somebody put a cast iron head on it so as far as I know it's a 308 this is 232 on the head so apparently um, uh, these 
heads uh, sometimes the aluminum ones gave trouble to crack so sometimes guys put these cast iron ones on so uh, I'll have to do a little more research maybe check the block number and find out um, from what I can tell this engine was painted in a red color uh, a lot of times you see them in gold so I'm not sure if that's uh, what's uh, what's the right color for this engine if it's red sometimes you see a lot of them done in gold and uh, sometimes you see it red with a gold cylinder head. Uh, sometimes you see the whole engine painted gold with the red air cleaners on the twin H setup. Uh, this is not a twin H uh, setup on this engine. This is just a single carburetor on it. So anyway, uh, get this on a stand and we'll go through putting this together. Um, like I said, unless it's gonna be too expensive to do. Uh, if anybody out there on YouTube happens to know of a good way to get a head gasket and stuff cheap for this, you know, these, these uh, gaskets I don't necessarily need. I can just make those out of right stuff to put an oil pan gasket that. So, uh, gaskets would be hard to make would be the uh, intake exhaust gasket and the, uh, and the uh, head gasket. So, anyway, the head gasket is made out of some metal, so it might be reusable. Uh, if anybody has any comments on that, maybe I can reuse the old head gasket. But uh, usually that's a no-no. So, anyway, we'll uh, get on this and uh, see what happens. So there you have it, that's the 51 Hudson uh, Great Beater Challenge car, hopefully, if it all works out. If the engine costs too much for gaskets, didn't want to do it, but I may just throw in a small block Chevy. Um, uh, leave comments, see what you think about that. I've always wanted to drive the Hudson for what it is. People talk about that 308 cubic inch engine, that uh, it's it's quite a fun, fun vehicle to own, but for cost to keep it down we may just have to go small block <laughs> and if you like uh, what I've done here please like subscribe tell your friends about it and you have a great day